Welcome to the 2017 JVM Language Summit. Uh, every year at this time, I know the team is very excited you know, about this event because that's a place where they will have the abilities to get the necessary feedback as well as brainstorming discussions on the various features that the team is already in the process of being developed or features that the team is thinking you know, that you know, we should basically work on. This year is our 10 year anniversary of this event. <laughs> and you know, within, within our industry, I mean, getting, getting an event you know, running for 10 years is a significant achievement. You know, this event started from a little gathering that, that John and the team put together you know, 10 years ago. And basically over the next, over the past 10 years, it has been a tremendous place for people to have you know, discussion, necessary discussions as, an, as a true ecosystem to help us you know, develop all the key features. Envoc Dynamics, Lambdas, I can tell you, it's been you know, tremendous discussion, tremendous feedback that were critical to you know, delivering you know, to the Java platform you know, the necessary capabilities that we have and that we need. So, you know, big thank you, you know, to all of you to be here. Uh, you know, certainly that's a commitment. Uh, you know, again, you know, please provide, you know, all the feedbacks on the current features, on new features that the team is planning to, to develop. Uh, you know, Oracle, you know, we are fully committed. You know, certainly, you know, we want to keep, you know, this tremendous platform and this technology vibrant, you know, both in terms of the Java language, in terms of the JVM, and so certainly, you know, Java is great. You know, the JVM, we believe, is the best runtime run for the cloud. We love all the languages, you know, on top of the JVM. So please continue to drive innovations. And basically, you know, we are, you know, here to continue to advance, certainly, you know, better performance, better, you know, capabilities, better functionalities. You know, that's where we want to keep to continue to drive Java. So nine, you know, uh, as you know, you know, this year also is very special because you know we are looking to deliver, to deliver you know, Java nine. Uh, you know, Java nine is you know massive you know, improvement. You know, over the years, you know, the team and many of you have contributed to this new release. Uh, you know, Java nine is really, you know, from my hand, starting to modernize as well as advance you know, Java and the JVM technology, you know, into the cloud. You know, clearly, you know, a bunch of, you know, major items, you know, modules. And modules is all around, you know, better API encapsulations, better way for you as library developers, JVM developers, language developers, you know, to be able to package and protect, you know, API access. But also module is around the modularizations of the runtime itself. You know, be able to provide new tools, Jlink, to be able for application developers to be able to customize their runtime into only what their application need. Tremendous improvement in terms of memory footprint, security, you know, why do you have to carry Corba on your runtime if in fact you know you need it? And I can tell you Corba is a place where you know, we are still seeing a you know, fair amount of vulnerabilities. So tremendous improvement in terms of compactions, improving density, as well as improving security of your own time. We are also very pleased to introduce a new compiler into the Java platform. You know, the AOT compilers, trying to move into the unifications of static compilations as well as dynamic compilations. You care about fast startup, you care about concisions of your code, AOT. You care around about ultimate performance, then you get, you know, dynamic compilations. Clearly, you know, a lot of work. Also, we are introducing, you know, the static compilers with our next generations, you know, compiler technology built in Java, you know, Project Graal. So certainly starting to move the platform into a place where all the code in the platform at some point, we hope, could be written in Java. Tremendous improvement. And finally, and at the least, maybe the sleeping features in nine is G-Share. 
I believe, you know, strongly that JShell is going to significantly improve the approachability of the Java platform in terms of making it easier for people and developers to be able to try experiment on the Java platform. So that is something that I'm looking forward. You know, clearly, you know, there is, you know, more transparency also that, you know, the Oracle team, as well as the ecosystem, you know, working on OpenJDK is trying to bring into, you know, more transparency in terms of defining features through JEP, driving those JEPs through the OpenJDK where every people within the ecosystem and within the OpenJDK community can see the various state of where, where those features are. And certainly it's our plan to continue to provide less friction for external contributors to be able to contribute. Finally, we have weekly build. So, you know, please get access to this early access build, provide us a feedback. You know, we are not close, we are getting very close from, uh, from the GL8. Overall, you know, we are looking relatively good. There's some wood here, so let me knock on it. Uh, but you know, all the telemetry you know, on the platform in terms of capabilities, functionality, stabilities look very good. You know, clearly, you know, we are six, seven weeks you know, away from, from the launch. Uh, still, you know, we are in this phase where you know, if you're an engineer working on a project for three years, this is a very exciting time. You know. This is basically where you get ready to deliver to the entire ecosystem a significant upgrade to the Java platform. You know, very exciting, at the same time very stressful in some case, where we have to look at, at incoming bugs, but you know, so far, you know, very good. So, kind of, you know, moving forwards and starting to look at, okay, so we're delivering nine, now let's look at about what we could do, you know, moving forward. And, and certainly, you know, when you are, you know, part of a platform that has been there for many, many years, you know, it's not that there is a lack of backlog features. We have, you know, massive amount of features, you know. Uh, and basically the challenge, you know, for us at Oracle, as well as for you guys, is to figure out what are the most important features we should be working on. And that's something where we need your help. We need your help in terms of providing us, you know, the key feedback in terms of what is very important for us to work on. So, clearly, you know, the industry is moving to the cloud. The cloud is introducing, you know, a new way in terms of, you know, containers to be able to deliver services. And clearly Docker is becoming, you know, the primary technology that virtually, you know, every cloud provider are building their cloud infrastructures to be able to deliver services. And so we are very pleased to, you know, you know months ago, to announce a significant you know, collaboration between Oracle and Docker, and Java and Docker, to ensure that Java and the GVM runtimes are first class citizen in the Docker environment. So what does that mean? That means that we need to ensure complex complete, you know, interactions, you know, between the Docker containers and the Java runtime. We need to ensure elasticity of resources, control of resources, ultimate performance, you know, that there is no performance degradations if you're running Java in a Docker container. At the same time, you know, we need, we need to ensure optimum and scalable manageabilities, service abilities within Docker. So certainly, you know, we started to make some progress, you know, in the latest releases in terms of addressing some issues that people were running into when they were running, you know, Java in a Docker environment. And, but there is certainly more work for us to do. Typically, you know, we're kind of looking at the high level, you know, largest theme, you know, for us when we are looking at kind of a, as a set of features that we want to work on. You know, clearly, you know, security has to be a number one priority. There is no Java, there is no JVM in the, in the cloud if Java and the JVM is not secure. And we need to continue to make progress in this area so we can provide cloud, cloud deployment infrastructure providers better capabilities and strong, strong feeling that if you use a JVM technology, 
any languages running on top of the JVM, then you get a you know, secure, secure runtime. Density and sharing. A lot of the cloud is around consolidations, where customers like to move their on-premise system into the cloud. And typically, you know, they want to get the maximum packing of services into a single system. And so it's so important that we continue to improve the density of Java. You know, so if you fork a new instance of Java on the system, you don't get basically complete linear increasing of the memory size. We need to be better in terms of the JVM technology to be able to share between two JVM processes, if we can, to kind of improve the overall density of Java and the JVM runtime. Container support and startup. You know, clearly the world of microservices is moving part of our you know, programming model into smaller pieces that interact with a lot of other smaller pieces, but it's so important that we can start up a Java container as fast or, or if possible, as close to a native container. Certainly the work that the team has been doing around static compiler is helping us moving in this direction and there is more work also uh, that the team is, is thinking you know, to work in this area. You know, clearly performance, always very important, especially as a model in the cloud is moving into a place where you pay for only what you are using. So if you can run you know, five times faster, at the end your bill is gonna be five times lower. So that's why you know, we need to continue to focus on performance. GPUs, yes, CPUs, we're doing great. GPUs, a lot of system now, especially around machine learning, artificial intelligence, have algorithms that are vectors in base that need basically need to run on GPUs to get an ultimate performance. And we need to ensure that the Java platform, the JVM, can take advantage of those capabilities on GPUs. Predictabilities is kind of part of how can we take this wonderful memory management system that the Java platform is providing it make it basically completely transparent. So there is no performance post time. You know, there is the GC that basically help all our developers is not becoming an issue for all our developers. Certainly, you know, a lot of innovations in this area and you know, certainly an area that we need to continue to drive the platform to reduce you know, the performance degradations on the unpredictabilities that Java is bringing to, uh, to our developers. Service abilities, service ability at scale. Large cloud providers at some point may be managing million and million of JVM runtime. How do we provide the tool to scale? How do we provide the necessary instrumentations into the platform itself so it's easy for people to recognize if there is a problem on this specific JVM? We need, in some cases, we may need to build special capabilities in terms of telemetry information directly in the VM to help us help, help those cloud operators to manage this content. And of course, developer productivity. Clearly, you know, we need to reduce you know, this perception that Java is very verbose. Java is kind of this old technology. No, we can move Java. We know all of us here in this room that you know, Java is a great language. But of course, we need to evolve the language. So, you know, as a call of actions, and that's my last slide, uh, you know, clearly we need your help. Java, the JVM technology, need your help. And that's why in some way you guys are here. We need your help around helping us, helping the entire Java ecosystem, JVM ecosystem, to move to GDK9. Move your product, move your entire organizations on GDK9. Move the tool, move the, you know, libraries because as soon as the entire ecosystem is on JDK9, on modules, strong encapsulations, it's gonna put us in a much better place to be able to advance. We know in many cases why people cannot uptake 
the version of Java is because a library and applications is using internal APIs. In Nine, for the first time, we're going to provide much better control where we can protect if you are library developers, if you are platform developers, even us, now we have the ability to protect access to those internal APIs, and that's very important. Then we need your contributions in OpenGDK. And contribution is not just the code that you care about. I understand this is for many of us, we are strangled with resources. Yes, I'm running Java in this specific environment. And I provide you, I contribute to OpenGDK, this piece of code. It's worked well in my environment. But we have to work as a community. Please, you know, the next mile in terms of ensuring that this patch or this larger patch will fit into the entire JVM code or the Java code, will fit all the, de all the possible deployment of the Java technology is important. If not, you know, you code, this code that you are contributing is becoming a liability for us. And that's why sometimes, I know sometimes you get frustrated at us in terms of, well, you know, we have these great contributions. Why you guys are not accepting this contribution? Because we are responsible for the entire ecosystem. We need Java to run across all those operating systems and all those hardware environment. And we need to work and act as an entire ecosystem. And that's why it's important that, you know, when you contribute, you do the contributions to the end of all the implementation of those features. And, you know, finally, you know, I think it's important for us, you know, to continue to evolve this wonderful technology and platform, you know, going forward as one ecosystem, as one, you know, communities. So I appreciate, you know, all of you to be here today, and I wish you, you know, a great conference, and, you know, thank you for your time.